Love and Laughter family, it's your girl Melanin, and this is Holistically Hilarious. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about self-love. Yes, you can never have enough self-love. Like, you can never love yourself too much or enough. Because the more you love yourself, the better your life becomes. The more you love yourself, the better quality of life you begin to live like self-love is like the best love self-love sets the tone for how other people should love and treat you so the more you love yourself the better your life become i am an advocate for self-love i love myself honey i love me woo 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 <laughs> no but like for real though like all day long i'm telling myself how much i love myself and not only do I tell myself how much I love myself, I show myself how much I love myself by allowing my daily activities to be conducive to the self-love that I tell myself how much I love myself. Because it's like, it's not just enough to say I am love, I, I'm, I am love, I am self-love, I love myself, I take care of myself. You have to actually put in the work necessary to show and prove to yourself that you love yourself. Because even though, yes, love is a high vibrational word and you begin to feel different the more you say it and it resonates right here with your heart chakra, it's still very, very important to put the work behind the word so your body, mind, and soul knows that you really mean it. You're not just saying it. Because... Your future self, which is still yourself now, is like, okay, you're saying that you love yourself. Show me how much you love yourself. How far can we go with this love? Because love is what's going to take you far in life. Because the more you love yourself, the better you take care of yourself. And if you're taking care of yourself and you're healthy, you're going to be doing great things in the world. Because you're going to be able to. Because you're going to be physically fit. You're going to be mentally healthy because you're taking care of yourself. Self-love. You see what I'm saying? It's, in, it's woven, weaving into every aspect of your life. Self-love. So, I want to give you like a few, uh, excuse me, a few tools to uh, help you with some self-love. Some self so, like a couple of things I like to do to uh, show myself how much I love myself is... Uh, I like to first and foremost, I guess I'm just all tongue twisted right now. The first and foremost thing I like to do to show myself how much I love myself is rest. Know when to rest. Know when you're just doing too much and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm tired, but I'm going to keep going. You're overworking your body and now your body is working not at its optimal potential because it's tired. Yes, I'm not saying like, ooh, as soon as you start to feel sleepy, just give up. No, because dreams take work. However, don't over, uh, don't over don't overwork yourself to the point where you have really nothing to give. You're giving from an empty well. You have to replenish yourself. And rest is a really great way to replenish yourself. Rest is a really great way to... Give your body some uh, some love and some TLC. A lot happens while you're sleeping, honey. Don't take sleep for granted. Don't sleep on sleep, but get some sleep. <laughs> okay? So, the next way that really, uh, that I like to show myself self-love is I take <clears throat> spiritual baths. I take uh, spiritual bathing. I, spiritual, I bathe in herbs, flowers. Pink Himalayan sea salt, essential oils, you know, a lot of other good stuff. Spiritual baths are very, very important. And um, it replenishes you on a whole nother level. Like, that's very mindful and very intentional. When I'm taking a spiritual bath, I'm taking it with the intentions of whatever it is I put into that water. Whatever it is, if I want to get, replenish my energy, I want to uh, revitalize my energy. Um, if I want to cleanse from a situation, if I'm looking to uh, heal, whatever the case may be, that's my intentions. That's my spiritual bath. It has many reasons. You put the reason behind it. 
you allow your intentions to heal you from a spiritual bath or just take it to relax. It's whatever you choose to do. But I love to take spiritual baths and I love to do them at the start of the week, maybe midweek. And but I know I get about three in uh, throughout the week from Sunday to Sunday. I get about three in very, very, uh, very, very important, important. Honey. Another way, self-love, um, meditation. Meditation is important because it allows your body and your mind to be still. And when you are silent and when you are still, you can hear information on a whole new level. You're allowing yourself to be receptive to information from the ethers. You're allowing yourself to receive information from your higher self, your spirit guides, ascended masters, whoever it is you call upon when you're speaking out your prayers. Because when you're praying, you're putting them out there. When you're meditating, you're receiving. So that's how you're going to receive. You can't really receive if you're always active and you're always busy and you're always doing. You're missing something. So sit back, chill, and just meditate and receive and then the answer could always be which probably it always is right there in front of you okay don't overwork your blessing your dream your whatever it is you aspiring to be because you physically want to do things on a 3d level you want to activate you want to operate excuse me from a old paradigm shift which has collapsed honey this is all about higher living higher loving this is about allowing your higher self in your mind visualizing to create self-love Allow yourself to work smarter, not harder. Okay? All right. And another way for self-love, the biggest way, which I really, really love, I'm a huge advocate for, is changing the way you eat. Plant-based lifestyles is popping, honey. I love when I have a good plant-based meal. It makes me feel so healthy, vibrant, light, and full at the same time. It's like, oh my goodness, all it is from food. Food is medicine. The healing starts in the kitchen. Your food should be your first and number one resource to be the best version of yourself you can be. You hear me? Because food is information. And if you're putting information in your body that's not conducive to the self-love that you keep telling yourself that you love yourself, you're sending mixed signals to your body. Your body is like, Okay, you're telling me that you love me, but you're not showing me that you love me because you're eating processed junk food, refined sugars, dairy, and meats. So it's like, how do you love me? How do you love me if you're not even taking care of me? I can't even vibrate right. I can't even raise my vibrations or frequencies and get to the uh, alignment of what it is we're manifesting because I'm vibrating so low due to this dense-ass genetically modified foods that you keep putting into my body. Why are you doing this to me? This is not self-love. This is not what you say in your mantras. You feel me? Your body like, uh-uh. This is not what's going on. So is that self-love? If you're telling yourself you love yourself, but then you turn around and do the complete opposite by putting something in your body that you know is not conducive to what it is you are saying, it's mixed signals and it's not crossing. Okay? Self-love. Self-love. Resting. Meditation. Spiritual bathing. Eating healthy. These are all ways. And there's plenty of other ways out there as well. I'm just giving you a few, honey. I'm not about to go down a whole list because it can be the list can be long. The list is long. Self-love should always be the first and foremost thing you do when you wake up every grand rise and tell yourself, I love you. This is gonna be a great day. Speak love into your day. Allow your vibrations to be so high and vibrant that that is what is going to carry out into your day. And you're going to be a, a magnetic for those vibrations that you are putting out. Self-love. Love yourself enough to vibrate high. Love yourself enough to be joyful and be lovable. And be loved. Okay? And another way for self-love is to love yourself unconditionally not loving yourself with if I could do this if I did this better always love yourself regardless of whatever and hold yourself accountable for certain things so you won't feel like um damn I did that so wrong I can't even love myself no more I can't even look myself in the mirror why did I do that if you're doing shit like that that's not self-love that's that's self-sabotage that's like uh putting yourself in an unhealthy situation which is not self-love so if you love yourself, you're not going to be having any doubts to how much you should and could love yourself. So love yourself all the way. 
all the way enough to make great positive decisions, allowing yourself to be a con uh, a conduit for uh, universal love. To flow freely through your body and to the lives of those around you. Self-love is, is, is like winning. It's a major key. Balling out of love. The more you love yourself, the more your life will be better. And you can also use other tools like crystals, which you see me holding in my hand when I'm rubbing. This is a uh, rose quartz crystal. It's a raw rose quartz. It's a pretty nice size. Kind of not heavy, but it's heavy enough. This is a rose quartz. It helps you connect to divine mother nature. Divine mother helps you with self-love, love of others, love of your children, your, your mate, or whatever the case may be. It really helps. It resonates with the heart chakra as well. I use this when I want to uh, just feel love. I just love myself and just hold on to it. And, uh, yeah, so self-love is the best love. I love yourself enough to take care of yourself. Love yourself to, enough to keep yourself at be your star player in your life. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. You can't say it enough. I love myself. I love myself. And I am worthy of this divine uh, change that has come into my life. I am so worthy of this brand new beginning. I am so worthy of divine love to enter into my life. I am so worthy. I am love. I am love. I give love. I feel love. Tell yourself that every day and say the word love and watch your heart chakra starts to grow more and you start to resonate with it and you start to operate from a place of love from your heart chakra. Watch how your life changes for the better. So this is your girl Melanin. This is Holistically Hilarious and we've been talking about love y'all. L-O-V-E-E. -E. Love and affection. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. I love myself. So thank you. Like subscribe and share the video yes honey like subscribe share the video let everybody know that holistically hilarious out here we're healing through love we're healing through laughter it's a new beginning i love you again peace <music>